Hi, today I'll show you how I made this necklace that seems to be floating on the neck. So stay with me and subscribe to my channel. So for this project you'll need 7 medium crystals in aqua. Also, six small transparent crystals. Of course, you can choose the color you like the most. Then, you need smaller beads, 12 light blue and 14 in transparent. A big crystal bead to use as a pendant. Then, you need a necklace hook some iron thread, some smashing beads, and also some pliers for pressing and cutting. Firstly, pass the pendant through the iron thread and place it in the middle. Then pass an aqua bead and pass it through both iron thread ends. Push it to the pendant. The idea is to put it so near as you can from the pendant. Now put a smashing bead through one end and another through the other. Push all the pieces to the end and start fixing the smashing bits. Push all the pieces and start fixing the first bead. Just press it with the pliers. Now open and press next bead. So this is the pendant part of the necklace. So now start putting the beads and then you'll press the smashing beads to create the floating effect. Start putting a smashing bead. Then put a tiny bead. Then a blue one. Then another smashing one. Now put a bigger crystal bead. Then a smashing bead. Then another tiny crystal bead and a blue one. And then another smashing bead. Finally, put another aqua bead. So now you have a smashing bead, a tiny transparent bead and a blue one, a smashing bead, a bigger crystal bead, and a smashing bead, again two tiny beads, and a smashing bead and then an aqua bead. 
Now repeat this sequence on both necklace sides until putting all the crystal beads. If you like this video, click right now on the subscribe button for more cool videos like this one. Look, I already put all the beads. And at the end, you put a smashing bead on each side and then a tiny crystal bead. Now that all the beads are in the necklace, you close it. So insert a smashing bead, then a hook. Then turn the iron thread and insert that end through the smashing bead. Then push the bead to the end all as you can. So here you have the hook in place. Then press the bead. Now the hook can't move. Do the same thing on the other side. Put a bead and turn the iron end and insert it through the smashing bead to create a loop to hang the hook. Try to make this loop as small as you can. Try also to align the bead with the one on the other side. Then press it. So now the necklace is closed. The hook will hang on this loop here and the necklace is almost ready. Now cut the leftover iron thread. Now shear out all the beads, so leave some empty areas between beads. Leave some space between this smashing bead and the next one. Then put two beads, then some space and the next beads. Then another smashing bead with two small beads, then another smashing bead and a big crystal, and so on, to share out the pieces on the necklace. This is more or less the way I'll do it. Remember that it's the smashing bead that will mark the space for the crystals. So you have to separate the smashing beads and the crystals. Start pressing the middle smashing bead so you'll have all the pieces well spreaded. Every time you press a bead, all the pieces will move, so it is very good to press the middle one to well do the work.
Now I have done all the smashing bits except for this last one. So put the last crystal on the iron thread end for hiding it with the bead, so it can't hurt your neck. So push the crystal bead, then put the smashing bead next to the crystal and press it there. For next side, you only need to place the smashing bits at the same height of the ones you have on the other side. This way, your necklace will look better. In this end, do the same thing as you did with the other. You have this iron thread end. Cover it with a crystal, then fix it with a smashing bead, so it won't hurt your neck. Now, close the necklace with a hook, and it'll be ready to wear. I hope you like this project. Mark us favorite and post a like. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on networks, share with your friends, and click the following images to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye!